The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. Now, I came into work today looking for a decent feed, but we're not going to taste anything here in studio because we're now crossing to Dublin's north side where Simon is at home in his kitchen. I thought you were going to send me over a bit of it, Simon, no? Uh, sorry, buddy, you're not going to get fed, but I guarantee you the neighbours around here now are going to get monkfish corner for their breakfast in about 15 minutes. <laughs> so as I said earlier on, Alan, we'll give a little Friday night fake away for you. Yeah. Um, so Friday night would normally be a takeaway night. I know we don't cook on a Friday normally. Um, so I'm going to do a little Indian dish, uh, a korma, a monkfish korma. So I'm going to show you how to make the korma sauce and then you can make, you can decide that what kind of korma you're having, i.e. chicken, or pork, or monkfish in this case. So right. we're going to start off in a pan here. I've got some rapeseed oil, and I have a couple of red onions that I have finely sliced. This is so simple, Alan, you can do it sitting down. I was going to say that. You're very relaxed, I'm very relaxed. No, none I'm of very the, relaxed. I'm, none of your kids joining in this morning, no. They're, all, they're either all still asleep or they're all standing outside the kitchen door afraid of their lives to come into the kitchen. I don't know. I'm on my own, but it's water. <laughs> but listen, we start off with the red onions. Now, the reason we use red onions is these are sweeter, okay? In real time, what we want to do is we want to cook these red onions down for about 10 or 15 minutes. Now, a little trick with this, pop a lid on when you're cooking the red onions because what we want to do is, because we're cooking them for 10 minutes, we don't want to hard fry them. We want to soften these red onions, make them pink and sweet. So when you have your red onions in your pan, pop your lid on, the steam will circulate and soften and cook those onions. So we give them about 10 minutes. What kind of heat would you have that on, Simon? You'd have them on a medium heat, and my induction here goes to 10, so I'd have it on about a six, just oh, above, okay. just yeah. above that. Cool. So I'd have them gently going for about 10, 15 minutes. Now, next in then, I've made up a little paste myself. So all I've done is I have grated a thumb-sized piece of ginger and two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to pop them in on top of the onion. Again, we let that cook through for about all oh, five minutes. Just let everybody get to know each other in the pool in here. You know yourself. Mm -hmm. So we're now with red onions. We have our garlic. We have our ginger. Now, depending on how hot you like your curries and your corns, let's talk chilies. I'm using one green chili. Now, as Laura will tell you, and as you know, I'm a bus when it comes to heat, so I've taken the seeds out of that. Okay. So I've just finely diced that chili without the seeds. Laura was actually and saying, again, Simon, that, that um, your, you, she tasted your korma the last time you did it. And your recipe for korma is absolutely delicious. Well, do you know what? I cooked it the last time in the show and I did a chicken korma. And I thought I wanted to do something simple. The trick with this dish, Alan, is we're making the korma sauce. Mm. It's up to you then what you do. Put in it, yeah. You can use the chicken as I did before. You can even go vegetarian on this because as you'll see, I'm going to put green lentils and I'm going to put baby potatoes in there. You can even pop some courgettes in there, and that's a vegetarian corn in there, okay? Yeah. So, in the pan, we have our chili, our garlic, our ginger, and our red onion. Now, that's going to take 15 minutes to cook down. We're then going to add in our green lentils. Now, these lentils have about five tablespoons there, Alan. Widely available in your local, I don't have the local supermarket, you've got all of these ingredients, easy peasy, there's nothing exotic in here, all widely available. Mm. These are the lentils that are ready to use out. These aren't the ones that you soak overnight. Okay. So you buy them on the back of the shelf and you can cook them straight away. Right, yeah. The reason I'm just looking for a little bit of texture. We always hear chefs in the show and talk about texture. We all mm. want texture and dishes. So this is going to give us a little bit of a crunch. So this is now going dry. The pan now looks dry. The key ingredient now is our korma paste. Now be careful. When you go to your supermarket to buy your Palmer paste, make sure you buy the paste and not the sauce. We're making the sauce. This is the paste. The good people who make this paste have gone to the trouble of grinding together all of those beautiful Indian spices. There's cumin, coriander, there's more chili in there. And that's the paste. 
So the smell in here, or half a more than it's unbelievable. I was yeah. just about to say yeah. that. I'm so sure that, the smell is wafting through. <laughs> I'm going to open the window, there'll be a queue at the front door. <laughs> and so, so you can see what I'm doing there. If I hold that panel, you can see it's very yeah. dry now. So now, much like yourself, I've got a half eight the Friday evening, and it's looking for a something's drink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... Into that, I'm going to add a tin of coconut milk. And as soon as you put that in, you will stir that through, and then you'll start to recognize this as a korma sauce yeah. in terms of the color. So you can see when I stir that through, it starts to turn that golden color. Mm. So now we're into the color of korma. So I want to leave that up for about five, ten minutes. To make it even richer, it's Friday, we all deserve a treat. Yes, I'm we do. Add in some, I'm going to add in some coconut cream. Again, widely available in your supermarkets. You get these in little sachets, just leave the sachet in a bowl of warm water and it's softened, and in goes your coconut cream. And that is going to make this dish even richer, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have coconut milk, we have coconut cream, and that, Alan, is your basic korma sauce. Now, at this point, you could decide what you're going to add into it. I'm going to add in little Irish twist baby potatoes, which I've cooked already. I've let them cool down, and I've just cut them into little bite-sized pieces. So in go our spuds. Again, we're looking for textures, Alan. So we have our lentils in there. We have our spuds in there. Now... At this point, we're at a vegetarian corn. You can add in or whatever veg takes your fancy. And I'd let that cook out for about 20 minutes and you're good to go. We are going to do fish. Now, this beautiful ingredient, monkfish. You can see the monkfish here. You can see that I've cut them up into little bite sized pieces. Yeah. So. Uh, what's your fish, monger? Running it's out fish. of time here, Simon. Go ahead, Al. Running out of time. Hey, so how long so how long there. how long would you this cook the monkfish monk for? You're only gonna cook that on for about 10, 12 minutes, and I have one that I've already made here. As you can see, I'm serving it on a bed of rice, and all you gotta do is maybe get some naan breads, some garlic and coriander naan breads, and there is a simple, tasty, quick, delicious Friday night takeaway. Monkfish korma served with rice. Wow. Nice, good luck. That looks beautiful. It's a quick one, Simon. If you were putting chicken in, would it be 10 or 12 minutes as well? Just chop the chicken up. It'd be longer, Alan. If I was doing chicken, if you're using chicken thighs on the bone, I cook it for about an hour. If you're using chicken fillets, I'd go about a half an hour, but cut them into bite sized pieces. But the, the fish is much shorter time. Yeah, exactly. It depends how small you cut that fish on, but I've got them in bite-sized pieces. So about 10, 12 minutes. Just take the piece out and cut it. Make sure it's white all through. Looks fresh. delicious. Enjoy that now, Simon. They'll all be queuing up outside the door in a few minutes. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. See you Thanks, soon. Uh, See ya. Now, full recipe details for Simon's Monkfish Korma are, of course, on our website. That's virginmediatelevision.ie forward slash Ireland AM. Up next, we're talking fashion. See you in a minute. The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.